Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm very sorry that the sequencing uh, that we chose was not to your satisfaction. I was uh, <laughs> order, 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 order. order. That is totally not acceptable. No. Who do you think you're speaking to, Secretary of State? I don't want. I think we need to understand each other. I am the defender of this House and these benches on both sides. I am not going to be spoken to by a Secretary of State who is absolutely not accepting my ruling. Take it with good grace and accept it that members should hear it first not a WMS or what you decide. These members have been elected by their constituents and they have the right to hear it first. And it is time this government recognised we're all elected, we're all members of Parliament and use the correct manners. Secretary of State. Mr Speaker, I apologise. What I was trying to say was that I'm very sorry that I did not meet the standards uh, which you expect of uh, Secretaries of State, forgive my language, but um, what I have been trying to do is make sure that I provide as much clarity as possible. So I am actually very pleased to be coming to the House uh, to speak. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be coming to the House to speak uh, on this issue. I've, uh, I have um, written, a, uh, written ministerial statements to explain that yesterday we tabled an amendment to the retained EU law bill that amends the operation of the sunset in clause one of the bill. This is a technical change. It introduces a schedule to the bill of retained EU law that will be revoked on 31st of December 2023. The schedule includes around 600 pieces of legislation provided by nearly all departments and spans a huge number of policy areas. This is in response to concerns raised in this House and will provide the legal clarity and certainty that has been called for. I would like to reassure my honourable friend that the 600 pieces in the schedule are not the limits of our ambition, neither the beginning nor the end, but actually over the past year, as Whitehall departments have been working hard to identify retained EU law to preserve, reform or revoke, it has become clear that time constraints have led to the programme becoming more about preserving EU laws than prioritising meaningful reform. Yeah. That is why we are proposing a new approach. And Mr Speaker, had I known the intense excitement that the House would have had about this issue, I would have come running, <laughs> uh, running to make sure that these technical details um, could be uh, investigated by all and sundry. But we are proposing a new approach, Mr Speaker, one that will ensure ministers and officials are enabled to focus more on reforming rule and doing that faster. I'm pleased to say that the government has already reformed or revoked over a thousand pieces of rule. Vital Fabrica. Mr Speaker, I'm less concerned with process and I'm quite for pragmatism. But can I say to my right honourable friend, she has shown a tin ear if she thought for one moment that these changes wouldn't arouse interest in the House of Commons and that it needed a UQ to bring her here this morning. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, my key question, I guess, is simply to ask, is she convinced that by this new methodology there will be the same number of laws repealed and in the same amount of time as if the pragmatic change had not been made? Uh, I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his question. The answer is yes. And what I would say is that all the members who had written to me on uh, this issue when, uh, when it was, as soon as I became business secretary, I wrote back to and also engaged with. And the response had been so quiet, it felt very much to me like a technical change, uh, which is what it is. And I'm very happy to explain as much as possible on the floor of the House. Carol Monaghan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Secretary of State has explained this morning that the issue is not her U-turn, but indeed is um, that silly MPs on both sides of the chamber have not understood properly the legislation. So can she explain in her wonderfully patronising manner, which she shows many she times this juicy. morning, um, to this silly MP, what will prevent her now making a major U-turn on workers' rights, including uh, holiday and maternity pay. Yeah. Here. So Mr Speaker, the Honourable uh, Lady calls herself a silly MP. It is not my place to disagree. <laughs> it's not my place to disagree with that. Um, 